Coming up on Mountain News This Morning, a group of veterans from Kentucky get the chance to fly to our nation's capital in a meaningful event held to thank them for their service. And the city of Pineville welcomed thousands of car enthusiasts as they revved up their engines to race through the back roads. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Chas Gay Hart. It is 534 on Monday, April 24th. Let's go over and check in with Brandon. Brandon, you had a busy weekend at Hillbilly Days, and that just means the festival season's getting started. It is. That was our first major festival. We've yep. got another one in a couple of weeks, late May Memorial Day weekend, then June the 1st. <laughs> then we'll take a little bit of a break for the summer, and then in fall, it gets real yep. going there, starting in <laughs> September. But yeah, so we've got a lot uh, going on here, but this morning, fairly quiet, fairly cold. Let's take you to Pikeville as we head over out the door this morning. Speaking of hillbilly days, it's over and gone now, but US 119, US 23 intersection over there, one of the warmest spots in the region this morning at 38. That's near Pikeville Commons. Not a whole lot of traffic out there this morning. Temperatures chilly in most areas this morning. 30 there in Irvine. That is the coldest spot right now, tied with Williamsburg. And then again, we see Prestonsburg and Pikeville holding tough to 38. I did see a 40 degree reading there in Wayne earlier. It's not showing up on this map, but again, we'll keep you posted if we see anything else warmer than that at this point. All right, coffee, you need a little extra to max when we needed this morning. Temperatures will continue to drop for a little while and get down about 32 war, uh, region wide there. I almost said worldwide, region wide until about uh, 7 o'clock this morning, and then we'll start to slowly warm up as the sun comes up here in the next few hours, but still for this time of the year, running almost 20 degrees below low average. Chess. Thanks, Brandon. Well, veterans from Kentucky ranging from the Korean War to the Vietnam War took to the sky during their honor flight during the weekend. It was a marathon day of activities in the nation's capital, including sightseeing tributes and a stop at Arlington National Cemetery and the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Vets landed at the Bluegrass Airport Saturday evening to a crowd of patriotic Americans ready to thank them for their service. I think he is really just probably just so elated right now. He's probably super excited. Cry, he was crying this morning, so he is really, really excited to do this. We see all the monuments out there. More than 60 veterans took the honor flight during the weekend. A first of its kind community center and museum held its grand opening in Ashland on Saturday. The C.B. Knuckles Community Center and Black History Museum is aiming at preserving black history in Ashland. The facility plans to hold educational programs, archives, art, and genealogy research in the future. The ribbon cutting included remarks from leaders across the region and several musical performances. Amazing, it's a dream of mine. I, I, uh, I never thought it would happen. And uh, the community's been very supportive of me and my aunt. Um, I, I don't know what to say, to be honest with you. I'm overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed. The food, drinks, and entertainment were free, but donations from the community were welcome to help the center and museum. Motorsports have grown in popularity across the region in recent years, bringing in people from around the globe to take part. WYMP's Alyssa Williams was at the final day of this weekend's Appalachian Hill Climb event to learn more about how this event is impacting the area. Revving up to climb all these mountains have to offer. This is by far the best hill climb ever. Sunday marked the last day of the Pine Mountain Hill Climb event, which is part of the Appalachian Hill Climb series, hosted by the Sports Car Club of America and sponsored by organizations like Backroads of Appalachia. I've met people from Canada, Texas, New York, uh, Florida, uh, California. There are people from all over the United States comes to this event. Those with Backroads of Appalachia say events like this can help to bring millions of dollars into the region. Eastern Kentucky is the mecca of motorsports. I've said it for years. We have the roads, we have the terrain, that multiple different motorsports that we grew up as besides dirt track and drag racing. Uh, that's not really the big market around the country. Hill climbs, rally car racing, drifting events, things like that. For Eastern Kentuckians like Jim Lewis, having a local racing event to take part in is a game changer. It's 30 minutes from home. Uh, usually when we race, we was 10 hours to, to 
to uh, Palaka, Florida, or somewhere in New York. We had a long trip to get there, and, and uh, cost a lot of money. And, and this is bringing a lot of people local. Organizers are fostering a community that looks forward to returning to the area to race and explore all that the region has to offer. There's so many fantastic roads, but even more important, the people is so welcoming. Uh, and I think that's what you need uh, for the sport. You need uh, fantastic roads, but also people that are putting it together. Helping Appalachia cross the finish line to becoming a racing destination. In Bell County, Alyssa Williams, WYMT Mountain News. The Appalachian Hill Climb Series was even recognized by the governor's office this weekend. With April 22nd a pro proclaimed as SCCA Motorsports Day in Kentucky. And London City Tourism hosted another Redbud ride, attracting cyclists from across the country. For the second time, kids got to participate as well. City Tourism partnered with Allegra Print Sign and Design to put together a junior Redbud ride for kids between ages 6 and 10. Allegra volunteer Claiborne Vanier says the junior riders learned safety tips and rode for hours. They get to do the loops, which was their, I think, favorite part this year. Uh, for every loop, they got a ticket to win a chance for a $100 Walmart gift card. Uh, their favorite part of the loop, I think, was there were several rounds they got to ride with one of the adult Redbud riders, and that really got them excited and pumped up. Nine-year-old Ariel Grossweiler won the junior Redbud ride with 187 loops, adding up to 15 and a half miles. She told WIMT she has legs of steel. Corbin Tourism hosted its third annual Colonel Fest in, downtown, in the downtown area, drawing the community for fun while celebrating Kentucky Fried Chicken. The event included games based around Colonel Sanders with vendors lined up in down Main Street. Corbin Tourism Director Maggie Monholland says organizers wanted the festival to be original and creative. Being home of the original Kentucky Fried Chicken um, and always thinking about new ways that we can serve the, the community, we decided, you know, it was time to come up with something different. Colonel Fest started in 2021. Mon Holland says it has grown in popularity since the first year. The third and final day of the 46th Hillbilly Days wrapped up on Saturday. Organizers say more than 100,000 people came out during the weekend. The festival was capped off with a parade as the grand finale, but the event is all for a good cause. Jimmy Kinney is the son of one of the festival's founders. He says to see the small parade his dad started grow into what it has become is amazing. You think that it started out just as a little parade, grew into this, and now we donated almost $3 million to the Lexington Farmers Hospital, but people don't realize the kids, how many kids will we take care of? Kenny added that Shriners Children's Hospital in Lexington serves around 1,100 children from Eastern Kentucky alone and around 14,000 across the state. Just ahead this morning, the subject of a famous painting made by an Italian artist gets a brand new look in an effort to get more people to visit Italy. Temperatures will stay well below average for the next couple of days for some rain chances return. Let's hope the old saying about April showers is true. I'll have the latest in about three minutes.